Good morning everyone. It is June 1st and today I just thought I would show you an update on my garden of what has been recently going on. This is my tomato plant, the one that I most recently potted from a Red Solo cup into an actual pot. And already it's grown. It's got pretty thick base, although it is growing kind of curved like manner. So I'll have to look at that. Um, I do have a blossom already coming out, so that is pretty neat. And then I did notice that I have this leaf that's like this. I'm going to trim this leaf off so it doesn't affect the other leaves I have. But I think it's looking pretty healthy. My second tomato plant I have is this one. This was actually the original one that I planted. And you see a tiny bitty baby uh, branch that I think wants to pop out. Um, and if you notice in each of these, there is a branch that wants to grow from it. So I guess that's just the way of how things work. I have a few blossoms here. So you got this one that has opened up. This one's about to, and then you have these three down here. And then you have some more right there. My blueberry plant, this is what is left of the blossom. I don't know what happened to the other one. So I don't know if birds are attacking it or whatnot, but I have seen a lot of blue jays lately, so maybe that's doing something to them. I think I'm going to have to call my tomato plant as dead because this is where it was supposed to keep growing and it's like completely like withered away. So I think for a first plant, obviously I have learned what to do and what not to do. I think one of the first telltale signs that I should not do is cut off the dead branches like these, wait till later to do it. This is my first one. So I'm gonna try it again because I would like to get a pumpkin. A goal this year is to get a pumpkin. So if you want to have a watch me grow, a hashtag watch me grow with this pumpkin, give this a thumbs up and we will try to do that. That would be fun. You can see where I cut it off and apparently that wasn't good for the plant. And as you travel up, you see some of this as well. Nothing seems to be underneath the leaf though. You got an egg there, but you don't have an egg anywhere else next to it. And then you get over here, and there's another egg here. See all of a sudden all my male, oh my gosh, all my male plants are gone. And then you see these things. I don't know what it is, because you see those green looking things. That could be eggs, could be other stuff. Um, and then you see brown ones there. So I don't know if this plant is a lost cause now. I should just trim it off. Because you even see some stuff there. Here I've got my pepper plant, the one that has two peppers, uh, or two pepper plants growing next to each other. This was infected with... Um, with things. I added some milk spray and it looks like it kind of did the trick. Oh, there it is. There's stuff. I'm going to cut off those leaves specifically. This is a cranberry hibiscus. It just got some water so that's why it looks a little dried up right now, but it will open up again soon. Marigolds are going strong here. I also have these, which I like to pluck off the older flowers. then it opens way for new flowers to come in and blossom there. There was one day that was absolutely gorgeous and it was on the first day of spring they all opened up so beautifully. It was very nice. Again, I am getting strawberries. So I actually have two strawberries growing. We've got, whoops, we've got one right here and then we've got another one right here. Um, something's been eating my leaves, so I will be keeping an eye on those, but I cut these down really short. I saw some new growth wanting to open up, so I decided to cut everything off and allow space for it to actually grow some more um, and preserve that energy so it wasn't feeding into the older leaves and wasting energy, so I figured snip those off so that all the energy is focused on to growing these leaves and new growth began so I think 
that is helping it for sure to produce strawberries, so I'm excited for that. I added ranunculus up here, like the ranunculus bulbs. Still have not seen anything occurring from it. I'm gonna keep it a little bit longer, see what happens. Got some rosemary, which I have um, harvested and cooked with already, and it was very nice. And then I also have lemon thyme that's here, and I have not cooked with it just yet, but it smells really good, and I can't wait to use it on like chicken or fish or something. That would be really delicious. I got my old man cactus that's growing. I've got this Hawthornia that I transferred outside instead. I have my pot that I've been working on that's kind of stayed the same. This one has dried up and is not really good anymore, so I'm going to have to pull that out. Um, this one's still going strong. Everything else seems to be doing good. And then this is one that was given to me by my friend for my birthday. Um, it's going good so far, I think. A lot of beautiful succulents that are part of this one here. Over here is my basil, and it looks to be going pretty strong as well. Um, I think it's ready to harvest pretty soon. I believe this is either lavender or rosemary. I haven't really figured out yet. It smells like a lavender, but I'm not entirely sure yet just because I have not seen rosemary grow from the beginning stages yet. So this could be either of the two. We'll find out soon. This is one of the propagations that I transferred over here so it can start growing on its own. Or a succulent. Same with this one. This one I transferred over. This one is rooting. This one as well. So that one's starting to kick off. This is actually from a succulent leaf. And now it is growing on its own. And then here I have my other propagations going on. I've got this little guy here, that one here, this one's growing on its own, you can see that one too, you can see some of them are really starting to take root and start. Lardia, still nothing occurring. Um, I've got kale, which is growing a new leaf right here. I have another kale that's growing another leaf here. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to grow bigger or if I'm supposed to trim it like this, so we'll find out and then broccoli. I hope you enjoyed my garden tour from June 1st. You can see the progression of what has been growing, what has not been growing, and so forth. Um, so if you would like to see more and see like a brand new pumpkin plant being started from a seed and watch me grow, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you would like to see other types of, um, if you think anything could help or benefit my garden, please let me know in the comments below and I will keep you guys posted.